And in today's video, guys, I'm about to show you how you can get 500 FPS in Fortnite Chapter 5 on a low-end PC slash laptop. I'm not only going to show you the best in-game settings, but also how to get potato graphics and the best game user settings and additional steps. So therefore, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. So guys, and the first tool which we're going to be using is called Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. And this one is amazing actually for low-end PCs because it's going to make sure that you always have a ton of free memory in the background, which is going to speed up your system, give you better performance in Fortnite and overall make everything a lot faster and smoother. You can find the tool on my official website guys and this is now how to set it up in the first place you can see your total system memory then you can see your standby list and system working set this is basically how much of your memory is right now taken by windows already and then free memory of your total ram what you want to do in the first place guys here for the list size at least put it to roughly 1024 this is the minimum value and then for free memory is lower than and here you're going to put half of what you have in ram so therefore let's just say that you have 8 gigs of ram you're gonna put it to 4000 if you have maybe 4 gigs of ram you're gonna put it to 2000 and on and on guys and the same goes as well for 16 gigs of ram then you're gonna put it to 8000 and you guys get the whole point right so therefore so therefore once we have this set up guys we're also gonna click here actually under start islc minimize on auto start and launch islc on user logon then on the right side guys for wanted timer resolution you actually want to change this one to 0.50 so therefore it's a little bit tricky. Then here on the right side guys, for wanted timer resolution, you actually want to put it to 0.50. So just simply replace it here guys with that. And then just simply make sure to click under start and you're already good to go. Everything is going to happen now in the background. You can even click in now and the purchase standby list in the first place. And now you're going to have a ton of free memory and the tool is automatically in the background, always going to make sure that your free memory won't go over a certain value so that you're always going to have enough for gaming. So that you will always have enough for gaming. Just simply let it run in the background and as mentioned you already set it up that it's always going to start as soon as you start your windows so you don't have to worry about it. Then this next step guys we're going to take a look at the best game user settings for low-end PCs and all you guys gotta do is type in percenter 10 percenter into your windows search bar. Then we're going to click under local, press F on our keyboard for Fortnite game, then we can see save, then in here now we have config and then we have windows client and then we have our game user settings. We and make sure that the attribute read only is not checked. Then we're going to double click onto it. And in the first place guys, I want you to actually disable motion blur. This one is super important because it's gonna make your game super blurry. Just simply put it under false. Then we have B-Show Grass. This one you're also going to put under false. This basically gives you even less details than available in the game. Also user GPU crash debugging should be on false as well guys. This is basically sending a small benchmark every single time to Fortnite or Epic Games whenever your game is crashing or you have stutter. So therefore the service is running 24 seven in the background. You wanna disable this. Then super important guys, desired global illumination quality should be on zero, the same as well with the reflection quality and the pre nanite global illumination quality as well on zero and also the pre nanite reflection quality. So all of these four quality options should be completely on zero guys for the lowest possible graphics in Fortnite. Then once you scroll down a little bit guys, you should find here now be allow full game download. This one you should put on false and the same with the cellular download. The next up guys, you're gonna find here now your resolution sizes X and Y where you can of course apply a stretch resolution which is one of the best methods to boost your FPS. Some Something like 1280 times 1080 is an insanely good resolution for low-end PCs. But I'm just gonna give you right now on screen a list of the top five best ones. Make sure to check them out. Then also under it, guys, we have now here audio quality level. This one you should put to one, guys, and last user confirmed audio quality level as well to one, so that we have low audio settings in Fortnite. Having this on high can actually cause stutter, which has been proven even by Epic Games employees. And then finally, guys, these are the best Fortnite settings, which you should copy 100% for the best performance. For your resolution quality, you can even go down to 70%, and your game is still gonna look amazing, but you're gonna get a nice FPS boost. Then for my chat settings, you can also make sure to copy them here directly one by one, guys, because having more services disabled is gonna result in better performance. Since I'm, of course, using the performance mode in-game and it runs over DirectX 11. Once you have everything copied here exactly like mine, guys, you're going to click here under File and Save and you're already good to go. Next up, guys, we're gonna go into our Windows search bar and type in that performance until we can find adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Open it up, guys. And once we're in here now, we basically have a bunch of visual effects which we can apply on our Windows PC. And of course, guys, you can see normally it should be on something like, like Windows Decide, what's like the best one. Then we have something for the best appearance and of course also the best performance. And for the best performance, it basically turns off everything. But I would highly recommend you to actually enable show thumbnails instead of icons. Because if you enable this one and you want to maybe use some Fortnite clips, you can actually see in the preview what was in the clip, guys. So therefore, that's pretty important. And then just simply click apply and then wait for it to load real quick. And then we're going to click under OK and we're already done here. Next up, we're going to go again into our Windows search bar and type in the game mode until we can find the game mode settings, system settings. And in here now, we have the Windows built-in gaming mode. This one, I would highly recommend you to actually turn on, guys, since it has been highly improved over the couple past updates, which is going to help you to reach more... 
which is going to also help you to reach higher FPS in Fortnite. Here we now have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling guys and for most low-end PCs this is going to help you to actually improve your performance and get less input delay. Here again you have to try it out for yourself guys so therefore either use it on or off and then try it out in Fortnite and see directly if you can notice it. But what we definitely want to do is under graphics performance preference guys we want to click under browse and actually find a Fortnite folder which for most people is going to be on C, program files, epic games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Windows 64. The only one which matters guys is the Fortnite client. The only one which matters guys is the Fortnite client Windows 64 shipping exit. This one we have to add. And once we edit it guys we can actually see it here now on the bottom so therefore what we're going to do is open it up and go into options and in here now we have and in here now we have graphics preferences. What do you prefer for graphics performance? Let Windows decide, power saving or high performance and we are of course going to select high performance and click under save then we're already good to go. Did you ever wonder how all of your favorite Fortnite pros get super low ping in game? Well guys, this is the GR Booster which you can try it for absolutely free with the link in the description guys. Even Mero the FNCS when is using it. And it helped me to get only 7 milliseconds of latency in Fort, which is already an improvement of 60% guys. And with the new adaptive intelligent routing, basically the GR Booster is always in the background. And with the brand new adaptive intelligent routing guys, the GR Booster is basically in the background always going to search for the best DNS server while you're gaming ensuring that you have the least amount of ping. You can try it out for absolutely free with the link in the description. Next up guys, I'm also going to show you now how we can use the Nvidia Profile Inspector in order to get even lower graphics than possible in Fortnite. Once we launch it too guys, you can already see that we have way more options in here than in the Nvidia Control Panel or actually in Fortnite. And all you gotta do is type here in the top bar Fortnite and click onto it. Once it loaded up properly, it should be here green now and it should say Fortnite Client Windows 64 Shipping Excel. And you can see we have a bunch of options. But I already prepared for you guys the profile, which you can by the way also get from my official website, which you just simply have to import here. It's gonna be called low graphic. Just simply open it up guys, and all of the best settings are already applied, giving you maximum performance on any low-end PC. You can see we changed actually the anti-aliasing transparency super sampling mode. We also changed LOD bias DX, then also LOD bias OGL. I actually put it on high quality guys, that way only the terrain of the actual game is gonna get changed guys, but something like weapons, characters and houses are still gonna, are still gonna stay pretty high quality. Then all you gotta do is click under apply changes and now we're gonna hop into Fortnite. So guys, and now once we're actually in game you can see that the terrain itself is a lot lower quality, but once we're actually going to take a look at character models or actually, I don't know, like items which are in the game itself, like weapons or these houses. I mean, of course, you can also see a nice quality decrease. This is exactly what we wanted. And this is going to boost your FPS by so much, guys. And the best part about it is it still looks super playable. You can directly see, guys, the difference between having normal graphics and this one here. But the coolest part, as mentioned, is that you can still play on this totally fine. I mean, of course, it looks a little bit worse, but you can still see like that these are weapons or that this is a car. You know, you're not actually bugging through the ground like when you have it on like super potato graphics if you get what i mean yeah here you can notice it a tiny bit guys but again this is totally playable oh my god yo we just got him like that and other than that guys those are my in-game settings feel free to copy all of them this is what i'm playing right now here on 3d resolution of course on 70 percent anything else here completely on low or the lowest possible in-game and of course the performance mode if you're on nvidia or intel and on AMD utilize DirectX 12. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and make sure to check out the two videos which are right now on screen.